If you want to understand how the war has changed Ukraine beyond recognition, watch this. Channel 4 News has matched images from before and after 22 days of war. This is Kharkiv. This is Borodyanka. This is Karazin National University. And this is Mariupol. At the theatre in Mariupol, where they had written children in giant letters so pilots could see, early reports this morning said most of those in the underground bunker survived, but it's feared some were in the building itself. It's almost impossible to speak to people in the city. A Ukrainian filmmaker, Artem, managed to send us this message. The Russian Dramatic Theatre, yes, it was called Russian Dramatic Theatre, was bombed by Russian airstrike. As I know, there were a lot of underground tunnels under the theater, where the civilians could escape the Russian airstrikes and artillery. There were no Azov base or any other Ukrainian troops headquarters. The Russian foreign ministry claims the theater bombing is fake news. Подрывы здания драматического театра, естественно, киевский режим сразу же попытался возложить на российских военных. Правда, все равно пробьется. Мы сделаем все, чтобы эти преступления против человечности не остались безнаказанными. That is a lie. The authorities in Mariupol say 90% of their city has been damaged or destroyed. This is the shopping center. In the capital, Kyiv, another residential block took a direct hit from the country that doesn't bomb cities. They have no idea why this is happening to them. What have they done? As well as the one person killed here, three were injured. <laughs> President Zelensky went to hospital to visit those hurt. Yes, sir. Civilians, not soldiers. He was, of course, a star before he was president. But now his extraordinary ability to lead and communicate is clearly galvanizing his people.